As I find most striking is the presence of Antarctica on ancient maps. Since its first exploration, Antarctica has remained a continent full of mysteries and secrets. Various studies have been conducted in this frozen and arid desert, but not all findings in Antarctica are disclosed to the public. Indeed, many of them are not revealed and are deliberately kept secret, especially by several superpower countries backed by global elites. The idea that the secrets of Antarctica are hidden to protect the agenda and interests of certain groups is not new. But are these secrets and mysteries real? First, we need to understand an important fact about Antarctica. Although it is called a continent, no single country owns it. Instead, Antarctica is governed by a coalition of countries in a unique partnership. In 1959, 12 countries including the United States, the Soviet Union, now Russia, the United Kingdom, France and Australia, met and agreed on the Antarctic Treaty in Washington. The treaty aimed to ensure that the 13.6 million square kilometers of this continent would not become a subject of territorial disputes and would be dedicated to peace and scientific research. Indeed, this treaty has kept Antarctica free from conflict for decades. Naturally, questions arise about what makes Antarctica so coveted that several countries felt compelled to create this agreement. From here, the door to exploring the mysteries and secrets of Antarctica opens slightly. One of the implications of the treaty is restricted access. There are at least 16 areas deemed to have special scientific or environmental value that are restricted. These areas include 13 special scientific zones and 3 environmental areas aimed at limiting the adverse impacts on the environment while still allowing legitimate experiments or research. Consequently, the people residing in Antarctica are all researchers and scientific staff from several countries, and even then, only a handful of countries have such access. They live in research station facilities, studying a wide range of topics, from climate change and species to glaciers and surrounding seas. Many believe that these restrictions are in place to conceal the truth. This belief fuels curiosity and speculation about what might be hidden beneath Antarctica's ice. Speculations about Antarctica's mysteries are varied and often border on the extraordinary. Some theories suggest the existence of ancient civilizations buried under the ice, possibly linked to the fabled city of Atlantis. Others propose that there are hidden bases used for covert military operations or that Antarctica is a repository of ancient extraterrestrial technology. These theories are bolstered by occasional images and reports that emerge often suggesting the presence of structures or anomalies beneath the ice, captured through satellite imaging or remote sensing technology. While these theories are intriguing, the reality is that much of the research conducted in Antarctica is aimed at understanding Earth's climate, geology and biology in extreme conditions. The Antarctic Treaty System ensures that research is conducted responsibly and that the continent remains a natural reserve devoted to peace and science. This does not mean that all activities and findings are made public. Sensitive data related to climate change or geopolitical interests may be kept confidential. Graham Hancock has often spoken about alternative theories regarding Antarctica. One of the most striking aspects, according to him, is the presence of Antarctica on ancient maps. Indeed, these ancient maps 
Many supporters of this idea point to intriguing evidence, such as the Piri Rice map from 1513. According to them, this map depicts the coastline of Antarctica with incredible accuracy, long before Antarctica was officially discovered, suggesting the possibility of ancient advanced sailors who knew of its existence. Additionally, on the map, Antarctica is illustrated as not being covered in ice, unlike how we know it today. One of the things I find most striking is the presence of Antarctica on ancient maps, because we didn't discover it until 1820, and yet it's on maps drawn in the 1500s with great detail. Which yes, this certainly adds to the mystery of various anomalies and unexplained findings regarding Antarctica, fueling a range of speculations and theories about secret bases or remnants of ancient civilizations. For instance, some satellite images have revealed patterns and structures that are difficult to explain, indicating potential human or alien activity. There are also rumors about Nazi Germany's expeditions to the icy continent. Although officially intended for exploration and drilling, some speculate that the historical theories about Antarctica serve as a cover for building secret bases or making contact with extraterrestrial technology. The most famous piece of evidence often cited here is Operation High Jump, led by Admiral Richard E. Byrd from 1946 to 1947. This secret U.S. Navy operation was formally aimed at exploring Antarctica for scientific purposes. Despite this, some believe it was actually a covert mission to investigate suspected alien bases or hidden ancient ruins beneath the ice. Operation High Jump, said to be intended for establishing a research base named Little America 4, has sparked widespread speculation beyond its official scientific and exploratory goals. On ancient maps, because we didn't discover it until 1820, and yet it's on maps drawn in the 1500s with great detail. which. Whistleblowers and theorists alike speculate that the isolation of Antarctica makes it an ideal location for secret operations far from public scrutiny. They speak of expeditions uncovering ancient artifacts and technology, suggesting a history of Earth that includes interactions with advanced extraterrestrial civilizations long before recorded history. Additionally, another intriguing theory proposes that Antarctica is not merely a frozen wasteland, but a treasure trove of mystical technology and undiscovered artifacts. Recent research has affirmed some of these earlier speculations, revealing vast hidden landscapes of hills and valleys, shaped by ancient rivers that have been frozen in time for 34 million years. While these theories often border on the fantastical, a slightly clearer truth emerges from the fact that billionaires, in their quest to control the world and search for groundbreaking discoveries, are said to be behind a series of Antarctic expeditions. Yet Yes, these billionaires, or the so-called global elites, are believed to fund expeditions to uncover the secrets buried under the ice. Recently, wealthy individuals from around the world have been flocking to Antarctica. Various reports describe these trips as vacations or tourism. While it may seem hard to believe, consider that these activities might not be as simple as cruise vacations amidst extreme weather and vast distances. Imagine advanced technology abandoned beneath the ice, artifacts and machines from civilizations that could revolutionize our understanding of technology. This notion undoubtedly carries significant implications for history. Similar to the Ark of the Covenant or the Holy Grail, the idea that such items could be hidden in Antarctica, far from the world's view, adds an intriguing layer to the continent's allure. But what would people do with such discoveries? 
Existing theories suggest the construction of secret underground bases in Antarctica. These are not ordinary hideouts, but luxurious bunkers designed to protect the elite from global catastrophes, equipped with everything needed to survive while enjoying various luxuries and advanced facilities. Imagine a high-tech laboratory dedicated to studying alien technology and ancient artifacts, all within a secure and remote environment. Far from the oversight of international agencies or the potential spies of social media, it becomes challenging to distinguish between reality and fiction. What do you think about these theories and the possibilities they suggest? 